like be cautious i be hanging out at Tam's. hey what is up guys karik here um and welcome back this is my first time recording my voice um i'll try my best to explain um what has to be explained in this tutorial so yeah um today i'll be teaching you guys how to do the unique um text animation that i usually do it basically looks like the example that i showed you at the beginning in the watch this so it's when the text grows and it looks pretty nice in my opinion and it's easy to actually doesn't need um a lot of plugins only one plugin though which is autofill so make sure that you have it so I'll just demonstrate real quick how um, I do the text. It's pretty simple. It shouldn't take that long. So basically, get whatever font you like. Um, in this case, I'll use Strong Blood, which is a very nice font that I used in the example that I showed you at the beginning. So I'll just pos position it in the middle of the screen um, like this. It should be good. Um, I'm using the grids, proportional grid, in order to like perfectly position it. Um, it doesn't matter if it's like positioned wherever. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now let's add the effect. So as I told you earlier, you have to have autofill. Um, it's a paid plugin, but basically you could get it off of the internet. Um, somewhere if you do your research, you know, like crack it, and you should get your hands on it. it shouldn't be that hard to crack. It's um, found everywhere, actually. So basically, autofill um, grabs points and it makes them go and expand through um, whatever you're using it on. You can use it on text, um, images, a bunch of other shit. So yeah, um, I'll demonstrate how it works real quick. Um, so as we can see, we only have one point. Point count is one, and there's the position. So you can like position the point um, where you, cho you choose the text to go. So uh, per se, let's say if we position this um, at the bottom of the Y, then the Y should start going from the bottom. I mean, it depends on the text and the image. Uh, in my case, our text has like those read gaps. So if I was to use autofill on, let's say text, I mean a font that's like much cleaner, um, let's say integral cf which as you can see it's a normal font so let's position it uh grab the point and position it on the y it should go from the bottom all the way up as you can see and for now i'm not trying to like perfect the text animation because of course it takes time we'll just like demonstrate it real quick um so that you guys understand the process behind it so as you can see the text is going um from the y and you can like um get as much as five points actually so you could um you're limited on the points so be careful of that you could add one point on each text and it should go um so yeah that's basically it um click on the preview input it usually has a check on it uncheck it and you shouldn't um be able to see the preview or then go out of nowhere as you can see and you don't have to put the points at the very bottom of the text. You can literally position position them wherever you want. Um, let's say you wanted to position this at the top. Then it'll go from the top and so on. Um, you could also check this to check where the points are um, that you position. Maybe in case you want to like position them in other places. Or if you find that if you find it hard to position them in certain images or certain texts, then you could use this, op this option to like make it much easier to position the points. And of course, other, other than that, there's a bunch of other settings like such as the speed. You could can, you could change the speed of the growth of the points. Let's say if we set it to like 20, it should go immediately and very fast. It shouldn't take like two to three frames and it should be completely grown out. But if you lower this value down, um, down to like two maybe, then you'll get this much slower on um, top of like growth somewhat. So this is basically the basics of how to use autofill. Uh, let's apply the same methods that I just explained on our current text that we have right now. So as you can see, as I told you earlier, since our text has gaps and stuff, um, it's kind of hard uh, to use autofill, but we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go with five points, check the view code, and then 
I'll just position my points on um on the text real quick. So as you can see it's going but in this case since we got gaps and shit the text isn't going as um it has to go so in this case you could mess with the border strength so the border strength um somewhat limits the points from crossing a certain border let's say we got those gaps um if the border strength is set to 100 then the actual fill wouldn't cross the border but let's say if it's on zero then it would just go out of nowhere it wouldn't mind the borders it just fill up so in my case um i think that turning the value up to 100 percent um should look more aesthetic in some cases a look that is actually going from each um part of the text which makes it look much better than if the value was set to zero and then i'm gonna bump the speed up to 10 make it a bit faster and then i'll go to the compositing part we could border expand um it's basically similar to border strength if your autofill doesn't work as good you could just mess with this value and then it should give you a different result of course And then we also got the radius so you could mess with the radius it's the um, radius of the point that the fill is going from so of course smaller um, radius the smaller the point is gonna be larger the larger um, generally speaking if you have a larger radius um, your text will go much faster because the ball is larger <laughs> pretty self-explanatory so let's check how it looks now Um, let me show you some techniques and some effects that I usually add onto my text to make it look spicier and much um, better and cooler looking. So I usually um, duplicate the text. Now we got both um, text duplicated. Same text, of course. And then what I can do is change the color of the text to whatever, let's say red. Now we got one red text that's going out and another white text behind it in this case. So what you can do is um, actually mess with the delay frames. It delays the growth. So I set it to like five maybe, actually. I set it to zero set the delay frames on the lower layer to like, let's say eight. And then switch the position. And what's gonna happen is that the red um, text is gonna grow first. And then after that, the other white text is gonna also grow out. Um, in the same position and like follow up with the red text so this adds like a nice texture somewhat to the text as you can see uh the red text goes first and then is followed up by the white text of course you could do it with as much as many layers and as many colors as your heart desires um other than that you could add some effects such as deep glow of course it'll make it look much nicer and much better um, basically deep glow is just one of the better effects um, I highly recommend you get deep glow it's one of the best glows if not the best glow um, out there so also regarding deep glow in general I'll show you a general um, tip that you could be using so when you add deep glow to any text um, or object and then you increase the radius on the deep glow what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be finding those uh color bands somewhat like <clears throat> the bands that are coming out of the light as you can see there's like lines and circles somewhat and so to get rid of that it's pretty simple you just gotta add noise yeah as you can see the more you increase the value the less color banding you're gonna see so yeah just increase it generally speaking um, in some cases, you just gotta increase it a tad bit, let's say to like 5, and then color banding should be gone. But in our case, it's not working, so I'm gonna increase it all the way up. And in general, noise is uh, 
way more aesthetic i think it looks better on the text and the glow in general i usually add um noise to my glows even if the value isn't that high i just keep it there one to prevent color banding and the other reason is because it looks aesthetic as you can see it looks way too good and in some cases it's also good for compositing you could use noise and utilize it and get some nice results as you can see we kind of like somewhat hit color banding um if you go from here and then hide the noise as you can see you can see layers and layers of the light which kind of looks bad in my opinion even here is like a weird thing a weird noisy texture even though we don't have noise but like if you turn noise on it'll somewhat fix it up and like merge the color bands together um basically that's it um another effect that i like to use is terrible in this place and posterize time to get the scribble like effect so basically i'm uh pre-compose both of the texts and i'm gonna terrible into this space my layer and what we gotta do is animate it and so we're gonna grab the evolution um position the keyframe at the very beginning and then just like bump it up to like 300 or something depends on the how fast you want it to like change i'm just do a bit more actually i'm gonna do one evolution and like 300 should be much faster now I add poster ice time drop it down to like 12 maybe this I could do less amount on the turbulent um, less size so that it moves less and as you can see now it's kind of laggy because of the poster ice time so basically if we turn on the poster it's going to be much smoother because it doesn't have poster eyes but what poster eyes does is it changes the frame rate of the animation as you can see without poster eyes it's much smoother but it kind of this type of smoothness kind of ruins the vibe and uh, yeah the general mood that i'm going for so i think poster eyes time kind of fits it better as it's laggier this is way better than before um another effect that i like using sometimes is uni heat wave for this type of text animation you can pretty much do whatever whatever you want uh but like it depends on your edit the and thing is that it's not positioned above poster eyes so it's not being affected by poster eyes time so if you change the positioning of the heat wave you get a laggier look now that it's being affected by poster eyes time again this is a nice effect that i like um using it kind of makes the text jiggle and of course there are a bunch of effects and wave types in heat wave that you could be um messing with and get getting like different results so basically uh there isn't specific values just mess with it and you'll get whatever you get and as you can see you can add some blur um it might look nicer this way and so last effect that i'm gonna be showing you guys that fits this type of text animation that i used in the watch this at the very beginning of the video is the time warp rgb effect so what this effect does is that it kind of echoes and like duplicates the text over and over again as it's going up. So I'll grab time warp RGB. Oh. Just wait till it loads, it's kind of killing my PC. Just cache before playback and play it. As you can see it gives it a nice RGB look kind of duplicates the text multiple times it gives it that nice look um which i think looks pretty cool um so basically that's it for the text um there isn't really anything else to explain but of course as i said earlier um those are one of the main effects that i used um there's a bunch of effects 
uh, they could be using um, in order to get different results um, so yeah just go in there go into after effects add any text try to follow with the try to follow up with this tutorial but do not copy it exactly just try to mess with the effects um, that you got in your effects library and you might get some results that you might like and um, end up creating something unique and you um, so that's it for the tutorial um, I hope I helped you but other than that um, catch you in another tutorial Peace out.